another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching team wolf this episode 15 of season 5 hopefully guys are enjoying the series so far last episode again was really interesting because we did have malia's mum reintroduced you know last time we seen her she had deaton captive and she had a captive in this episode and it looked like theo was trying to do a nice thing with helping Malia, but no, he's always got his own agenda in mind, and pretty much, you know, he said he cut a deal with her, he said, look mate, you know, if you take this serum, put it in your neck, it'll just knock you out, I'll take you to the, the you know, his like little lab that he has, my little lair, and I will give you information, the dread doctors, this is how they see into like the future and where people are going to be, that's kind of what he said anyway, Um, and she accepted it, reluctantly, she accepted it, and he did take her there, and he gave her a pair of goggles, which had like, I don't know, like, spikes in it, dug right in to her eyes he said it's important to keep your eyes open and it was kind of like a head dive wasn't it it's just like the head dive when they put the claws in the back of the neck it give her like a future vision so to speak she's seen a location on the wall she found the facility that he was being held and they went straight to it now what's really interesting is when they got there they did find Deaton he was there he was tied up on a chair when she was about to go and rescue him Field turned around, shot her. He was like, look, mate, you know, you must have sensed something was going on. I must have given off a transmission signal. You know, like when they give, like, feeling signals off, like Styles was saying to her, like, mate, you should be used to it by now, anxiety. Well, he must have given something off. It was guilt, you know. He was... He felt guilty for doing this, but he's always got his own plan in motion. And I suppose, you know, when you look at it, the outcome that he got, he had a justified... Well... In he, in he said he had a justified reason of going against her and that was because obviously he handed her over to her mum and she gave him the claws that we seen in the first episode of that guy that put inside a parish and tried to steal his powers and put inside a Scott and tried to steal his powers he gave them obviously to uh, Theo so he's got them now as he went back to his little lair so to speak where his little crew is his little pack who else is there Duke Alien he's no longer uh, not blind he is he's, he's blind again if that makes sense so like last time we seen him with Derek and Scott they cured his blindness now he said look it was only temporary as I got away as I was chilling boom it come back and he said I've got to deal with you I'll help you become an alpha or whatever you want to do mate as long as you help me get Scott McCall's eyes on the tip of these claws and he whipped his big massive nails out so again very very interesting we also had an interesting storyline going on with Lydia we had kind of the start of season five now we're into kind of the present you know I got uh, that feeling a couple of episodes ago that we was currently up to date but no it definitely is now because she was there she was with Meredith she was learning she managed to crack the glass we got her waking up you know from her bed and screaming all the guards come running in she was fighting them she went outside obviously she got zapped again because we have seen that before and she was like my friends they're all going to die. They're all going to die. But at least, you know, we're back in the present of Lydia's story now. And we can see where we're going from here. It's exciting. Gerard and Chris, you know, they're working together again. Gerard knows all this stuff, mate. Literally, he's so smart, even though he's so annoying. He was down in the tunnels. He was looking for information. Um, the Dread Doctors come. He wasn't even scared about them. He just stuck a frequency thing into the wall. It was obviously pinging the frequency. And he's like, look, mate, I know what wavelength you're on. And he just walked off laughing, mate. Like, not even bothered. The guy's crazy. He's so annoying, but he's crazy. And he actually is a pretty good asset in this little <laughs> in this little situation that they found themselves in. He is a decent asset. To finish it off, obviously, we had Malia still with her mum. They ended up having a big, massive fight. Who else come? The Beast. Smashed down the wall. Looked like he was going to grab Deaton. You know, she ran off. Malia ran over. She saved Deaton and they all bounce together so what's uh you know what's really interesting is theo has got these claws he wants to steal the power from the beast and use it for himself so it's going to be absolute madness and now he's got the help of duke alien it's going to be exciting and it's going to be interesting to see if scott's pack is strong enough and you know back to normal enough you know they've all been going through these crazy struggles right now all independently their own little situations i need to come back and unite as one and go after theo duke alien and the beast for the rest of the season it's going to be exciting and i can't wait for today's episode hopefully you guys do enjoy it if you do please smash the like it really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump in to episode 15 of season 5 of team wolf <laughs> Will be taken by ambulance to Hill Valley. 
Okay, she's on uh, stop this ammo. <laughs> there he is. But yeah, they're gonna have a big fight now. That's what they were saying last episode, didn't they? Whoa, okay, it's like a full on fireball. Ah, oh, bloody feet. Do you know what I found interesting there, mate? It went from, like, I don't know, paws to trainers, mate. The guy's wearing his little Nike trainers underneath that skin suit. Do you know what I mean? No, so what's interesting is it is a person, you know. I think it's easy to forget that there is a person that is underneath the beast skin because it's so massive and, like, obviously scary and its teeth are crazy. And they're just scrapping with Perish there. You know, Gerard mentioned that last episode that the two visuals of like kong and godzilla mate you know on that wall was jordan and the beast and they're gonna fight it out and the rest of them was the bodies underneath them it's interesting i like perish that's how you introduce a character i.e you don't throw him into the deep end you slow burner you get them like i was interested in his character in general as like a good police officer and lydia you know what i mean like possibly dating and then you add this in you just feel more connected don't you you feel more interested and more engaged and i, I really like it what i'm about to show you isn't supposed to exist this is the only surviving evidence of Dr. Valak's time. Do you love a good drill in the head, drill don't you? Into their heads, all of them. Yeah. The abilities were already pretty exceptional to begin with. Putting a hole in her head would be like causing a leak in a nuclear reactor. It could be so powerful that it might kill everyone around her as well. Well, she's learning to control it with Meredith, isn't she? We get into the closed unit, we get Lydia. Get out. I pulled all the history off the key card. Two weeks ago, there was a brownout. The security system rebooted. I draw power from the main line, but only enough to cause the brownout. Not a blackout. The system takes five minutes to reboot. In that five minutes, all the alarms will be turned off. Okay, admittedly, a lot could go wrong. <laughs> Everything could go wrong. If we don't do this, we lose Lydia. I mean, she might take a lot of innocent, true, but it seems like every single person that we've seen in there is some crazy killer or something. You know what I mean? There's not really been one normal that we've seen right now. Oh, look at this. How do you know it still works? Let's just give it a try. <laughs> I'm mad at him, mate, look. Yeah, it's kind of like giving her a third eye. You know, mad, mate. You did it before. You had to learn how, right? How did you learn to fight with a sword? Just kind of happened to. How are we even getting past the front gate? Stop changing the subject. Do your thing. It didn't work. Oh. <laughs> no, it didn't. Just promise you're not coming back in one of these. We're coming back with Lydia. Pirates don't even get in the way now, do they? They just assist. You still mad at me? But if you try to kill my son again, I'll put you in one of these myself. <laughs> I'm dangerous. Show us a giant murdering werewolf who's killed over 30 people, but somehow didn't kill you. Can I ask you a question? No. Uh, Did your mother really try to kill you? Did your mother try to leave you in the desert with skinwalkers? Why did you take off the goggles? Because this time you're going to do it. Oh, she took the whole power out. Oh, this guy's OP. I say it constantly. What are you doing here? I still need to graduate. No, no, what you need is to be beaten severely. If you're planning to break Lydia out of Eichenhaus, you still need to get past the mountain ash. We can make it through. I don't want to be one of the bodies. It's that simple. I don't know, man. Like, literally, I don't know. With Theo, the whole season, he's twisting to me, left, right, and center me. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I do know what's going on with him, but what I'm saying is, like, every time he infiltrates every plan and then... Sometimes he's helpful and sometimes he's not. Like, you know, sometimes he'll save the day, like when they come and he rescued... I can't remember, did he rescue Hayden and Liam from the... You know, when he was in that electrical fence? But then other times, you know, he takes Styles' his dad. And and, um, and it's just like, again, you know, you think that he's going to help Malia last episode? No, nope. walks her into a trap. You know, he thinks he's going to help Scott? No, nope. uh, puts him inside the school, mountain ash around it. And then Liam comes to try and kill him. You know, these these times he's good and these times he's bad. You know, he genuinely sometimes when he has a general interest. So like, who was stealing the bodies? Do you remember that time when he was in uh, the car with Styles? He didn't know he was stealing the bodies, so he was helping. He was interested. He got attacked. The car was slipped. The body was taken. The dread doctors knew he didn't. He was arguing with them, wasn't they? You know, he's supposed to keep me in the loop. And now, obviously, like I said, he, he infiltrates every single plan. He's always there. He's got his own agenda. And now I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure out why does he actually care about getting Lydia out? Obviously, they're going to try and use her at some point in some way because they've been down there before, haven't they? And obviously, Perry's turned up. And then the next episode, they was just like, they was never even down there. It was a bit strange, actually. You know about the closed unit I can house it. You know what 
what's down there. My mother-in-law, Lorraine, predicted her wife's death. These moments happen for everyone. And you know what they're called? Mm. Coincidence. Might expand your definition of a uh, coincidence. <laughs> That's all you need to see to get her out. She took out the whole grid. The key card won't work without a reboot, and there's no reboot without a brownout. I know you can do this. Anyone here think that she can't? <laughs> Not me. Eichen House has a wide range of patients, and we cannot guarantee the safety of those who deviate from the rule. Wait, you tell me no one's just seen him walk off? The hospital ran out of refrigerated drawers, and Eichen's got the only other up to code morgue in the county. Need to log the names off the tote tags. They're found in the county tunnels way past Ritter. Open them up, please. Oh, actually, he's a dirty brother. Go, just go. In it, you only have to see one. Not again, Nelson. It's natural. So is fifty thousand feet. They were so lucky to get into that. Let's be honest. It's like it's a TV show. Oh my God. Never again. Twelve minutes. Okay, Kira, you can do this. She's got to succeed, hasn't she? Let's be honest, you know, everybody... I know it's pure pressure right now. She's failed so many tasks, but, like, everybody said they believe in her and they're there now, so she's got to, she's got to do it, hasn't she? You know, they've, they've managed to somehow infiltrate getting in. It was lucky, actually, that they only opened one of the bodies. It must have stunk as well with Scott Styles and Liam laying next to him as well. Literally, it must have absolutely stunk. But now the whole crew is in there. Now, Malia was saying the hardest bit... He's getting out. But I'd just smash any of the windows, me and absolutely sprint off. Or like I'd let Scott cause a diversion. He can I was gonna say he can technically fight them, but he can't because there's there's certain areas, isn't there, that's covered in ash. Realistically, I do think that Liam, uh, not Liam, Theo and his pack are going to come in and, and, and help. That's what I think that's going to happen. Like he said, he, they can walk up and down and around, mate. They're not affected by anything that's in Icon House and they can literally use all the power still. Not if you die. Mm. I didn't die. What are they doing there? I don't know. The round should have ended five minutes ago. Did you take the doctor? Did you take the doctor? Mm. They're gonna come out. They're gonna have to take him out. Not helping. Is anything even happening? Why isn't it working? Because they have no idea what I'm doing. Shut him up. <laughs> the guys just shut up, mate. I don't want to lose control because I'm scared I might fry the entire system. This isn't about you. We're here to save Lydia. That's better. See, I'd rather do this and fail than, like, not even be able to even start. Do you know what I mean? She did it. Kira did it. Five minutes to get the Lydia address. Where's the card reader? Are you telling me we came all the way down here just to be stopped by an ordinary key? What if we can break it down? <laughs> That's what you gotta do, mate. You're down there now, you're committed. You're gonna have to smash it down, make as much noise as you can, literally, because, you know, like Scott, uh, Styles just said, you made it all the way down there and the key card's got. Mate, how did they take the key card swipe off that gate? Uh, I thought it would have been, like, proper fitted into it, but ordinary key. The only way they could do that is either smash it down or go and attack one of the guards, like Styles done. Do you know, kind of in when. He was in there for the first time with Malia. They caused a distraction. She managed to swipe one of the keys, didn't they? He tried to get one of the doors. That's what they'd have to do again, but not cause a distraction. They just full-on just go and rob them. Unshackle me from this thing. We'll both be a little more at ease. You set me free. I'll tell you a secret about those talons. The Dread Doctors would have designed those talons with a specific frequency. If you put some on... You'll then... die. They'll kill him. Hit me. Get angry. I'll get angry. Then I'll get stronger. It's gotta be harder than that. Do it! Do it! Styles, go! Styles is going to die if you stay. Made her look good, sweating the back out. We could get past them, but we don't want to set off any alarm until Lydia's out. Styles, go. Please. Evening hours are well passed over. We're not here to visit. We're here for Lydia Martin. I was down, mate. You can get in anyway. She's going to see all this supernatural stuff kicking off now. We need to get you out of here. What about the others? They should already be back at the morgue. Let's go! Why did you do me? I've helped 
amplified your abilities. Theo and Hayden. They found it. Someone's coming. Oh, okay. Styles and Lydia had five minutes to get in and out. It's been almost ten. Three boots over. And then there's the four security guards. What guards? No one's behind you. And what would a pack of chimeras want with a banshee? I'm looking for a hellhound. I think you found one. I'm interested to see what they. Oh, I'm interested to see what they want with him. Like, what are they gonna do with him? <laughs> Got me. Hmm. Yeah, Smilia looks sick there. Mate. They can't end it, it's surely not gonna end. How man? How, literally, how are you ending it? It's the second time we've had this, mate. Ended the episode with like the same as we've ended one of the other episodes. Now I don't know if it was like episode eleven or twelve, but I feel like this one was recorded to be placed directly after that one. You know, the last time we seen Theo go in there, the last time we seen Jordan enter and knock down the fence, and obviously the last time we seen Lydia in the bed with her head drilled into speaking with the doctor, the episode after that, there was no reference to the episode the ending of what we've just seen there prior you know i did mention it um i think i mentioned it early on in the episode today and obviously i mentioned it at the time well jordan come down he burnt the gate and obviously the, it ended with him like standing facing against theo and his pack and then the next episode theo and his pack was just back in school jordan wasn't even the episode at all and we made no reference that was even in icon house and it just makes it makes you wonder like what are the placements of the episodes like because i was listening to an always sunny uh in philadelphia Delphia podcast and they were saying that they record all the episodes and then the studios they decide what order they're released you know whether one's supposed to be released directly after another they might think the placement of one is better and, and put it in there and I feel like that's what it is I feel like this should have gone directly after episode 12 or 13 and obviously we've had a couple of fillers in the middle and gone back to this so we have seen obviously Lydia's mum she's come to get her out after finding information that Noah's give her about stuff that's happening to possibly Lydia then she's gone the shutters have gone down Malia's in there Kira's in there Scott Liam Styles you know all of them down there as well as the whole of Theo's pack we never seen that in the episode you know previously when Theo went down to get Lydia and what's interesting as well is you know when he entered the building he said he's here to get Lydia Martin but when he goes downstairs he's got the doctor up he's there waiting for the hellhounds so which one is it is he there after both or is he just after Jordan now like I said Jordan usually goes after dead bodies doesn't he yeah, Lydia has not died yet, and I don't think anybody else has died inside, um, you know, Icon House that we know of. So, what has made him turn into this like creature burning, and why has he gone down into there again? Very exciting and intriguing to find out. But they're all locked in that building, and they're going to fight against each other, fight against Jordan. Is a beast going to come? If it does come, then they they're all going to be stuck there, and then it might be a massacre. But it's going to be exciting. And obviously, I can't wait for the next uh, episode to find out, obviously, the outcome now, because it's like the second time we finished an episode with Theo and crew trying to get Lydia out of Viking House. Okay, now it's going to wrap up episode 15. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. Do you know what's really interesting is we kind of never even referenced last episode in this one. Like I said, I feel like this one might have been recorded and supposed to be placed a couple of episodes uh before obviously it aired because last episode we seen Malia's mum she was back she had Deaton tied up didn't she you know we had the beast come to nearly try and kill him uh, Theo turned on Malia didn't he? he end up shooting her obviously to get the claws and that was the only reference we kind of had obviously Duke Alien arrived at the end and he said that he wanted Scott's eyes kind of like on the ends of them but having a conversation with Hayden in the episode he was saying look mate you know Theo if he tries to put them claws on He's going to die. He's not going to work. You know, supernaturals you should know this. You know the um, the different, I don't know what he was saying, like the, 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 the way the body, you know, heals and replenishes and all the different stuff that he's got going on. If he tries to put another supernatural kind of like onto him, it's not going to work and it's just going to kill him. Now, again, like I said, that's interesting information and that does tie into last episode. You know, I will be honest, it does. He got the claws, do kill him, he's introduced. But apart from that, we never even had any reference of, you know, um, the old turning on Malia. We never had any reference of, obviously, Malia's mum. What's happened to her? Where did she run off to? And we didn't really see the beast at all. We did see it at the very start of the episode, yes. 
it landed on the road and it was running towards uh, Beacon Hills, obviously, hospital. And Styles was chasing the car, his dad's car, and obviously he said that. And they obviously went there and seen a fight between Perish and the Hellhound. I mean, and uh, and the Beast. And obviously, you know, it seemed like the Beast come out on top on that one. Jordan was through against the wall. He looked kind of injured. And, uh, you know, Scott was looking at something. as well. I can't remember what he was looking at, but he was focusing in on something burning, like on the floor or, or something in the area. Uh, but it looked like the Beast come out on top in that fight. But he's still obviously fine, Jordan, because we see him here at the end of the episode going back in Icon House. And, uh, you know, like I said, I don't really, don't really know who he's going after. But... Uh, the doctor, you know, he put one of the masks onto one of the workers there. It seemed to, like, kill her or open her eyes, give her the third eye. I don't know what it did to her, but he seemed to do something crazy. He said he's not used that mask in years, so he's going to test it out to see if it works. Well, looks like it does work. And who was he planning on using that on? Literally, who was he planning on using it on? Kira, you know, they was trying to use her so they can cut the power get a reboot and they can go in and obviously grab Malia well when uh, she did actually succeed you know so fair play she's been kind of failing all episode but she did when push come to shove and she had to you know do the deed she'd done it Styles went in there he's going to get um he was going to get Lydia. She was like, look, mate, you, you have to go. You can't take me. It's not the right time. You're going to die if you stay. And I think that she may be referencing to Perry's there coming into the building. Obviously, Styles did listen and he ran around the corner and he was listening and he was trying to hear weird conversations between Theo, between the doctor. Obviously, Perish is here. And, uh, you know, a couple of guards come down to obviously fight Scott and Liam. Uh, they was doing well, weren't they? Them little zappy things that they've got are well overpowered. They seem to always take them out, but Scott managed to, you know, muster up the strength and a, a bit of courage, and he's he done his roar, and it put strength into Liam, put strength into Malia, and I, obviously they've managed to come out up on top on there and take them down. So again, like I said, it's going to be interesting to see where we go from here, because the Dread Doctors have not really been introduced in today's episode. It's just going to be interesting to see, obviously, what Theo plans to do now, because obviously they've gone down there for a reason, whether it's for his own selfish advantage, whether it's to help Scott, or whether it's just to take perish who knows but that is where we currently are hope the guys enjoyed today's episode if you did please smash the like it really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new and as always i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys